So we see them across the office place all the time. You're debating if you should get one or you have one yourself. The Apple Watch. Now we all know that the Apple Watch is a very, I mean, it's, it's nice, right? It's nice and everybody debates if they should have one um, or if they shouldn't. In this video, I really wanted to focus on the fitness aspect of it. A lot of people ask, well, is the Apple Watch a really good like fitness health tracker compared to Fitbit or to Garmin? And to be honest, I've had a, quite of a history with it. I actually had the first Apple Watch when it first came out. I loved it. I was like, hey, this is gonna be my first intern purchase. And I bought it and I was like, man, I got it. Of course, when they first came out, there's no functionality. So like four months later, I traded it in, got like a Garmin Vivo Fit. Broke that and got a Fitbit. So I've definitely had my journey around the different fitness trackers. So in this video, I kind of want to go over what I like, what I don't like about it, um, and kind of like how I use it for fitness now. So let's go ahead and get to it. So one of the main things I love about the Apple Watch, and this, this applies to anybody. You don't have to even be a fit nerd to be this guy, like, you know, like a fitness junkie. Really, I love the activity rings. There's three rings, a red, a green, and a blue, and really, it helps you really just track your activity over time and it really convinces you to be a little bit more active. So the first ring is actually gotta be the move ring, that's the red ring around it. And how that move ring works is it actually calculates the amount of calories burned. And this will be basically, you can set the amount of calories that you wanna burn per day. It will also automatically see how much you burn and adjust from there. So that's actually a pretty cool feature. The second is the exercise ring. Now this doesn't mean necessarily crazy amount of exercise, it's just anything that will get your heart rate up. If your heart rate's up, the exercise ring will start to fill. Ideally, they want you to have at least 30 minutes of exercise a day. And then the last one is the standing time. This is the blue ring on the inside. It, this basically tells you to stand up throughout the day. Sitting at a desk all day, like I sit along, along like a trading desk and I could get lost there, right? We've all had those times where we're just sitting at the desk going. Click, 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 click. Two or three hours pass and we haven't even gotten up yet and we're stiff. So what this does is every 50 minutes it tells you, Noah, you gotta get up. It will remind you, be like, hey, stand up, move for at least a minute. And it's super helpful and it does this because it wants you to stand at least 12 times throughout the day. And like I said, it tracks it. So you have to actually keep these rings going day by day by day over the whole month and you get to see your streak and it'll give you like little awards and buzz you and all that cool stuff. So I like it because it's kind of like accountability. We all say, well, if I just had somebody to motivate me, well, that Apple Watch can kind of be that motivator for you. Now, the second thing that I really love about the Apple Watch is the actual exercise app itself. I only use maybe one or two of the exercise features in there because I only like the weight lift and sometimes I'll run. But for people who like to do other types of activities such as high intensity interval training, rowing, cycling, um, there's swimming, there's so much that you can track on this app and you can actually say how much you want to, whether it's the distance ran, you know, the miles swam, you could do anything from laps. I mean, it's very, very good and what it does is it actually like, takes your heart rate, put that into effect the amount of calories that you're burning and I don't know, it's, it's pretty cool, I like it. I only use it for weight training but I think it's a very neat feature to have for people who like to do different ranges of fitness activities. Now the thing that I cannot stand about the Apple Watch that they still haven't fixed yet, the sleep monitoring. Let me caveat by saying there is, you can use sleep monitoring and you can track your sleep. However, you just have to kind of do a hack, like kind of hack the system. I downloaded an app called Auto Sleep. It was like three bucks on the Apple Store. And what it does is it tracks all my different levels of sleep. REM, my deep, my light sleep, when I'm up, how consistent I've been over time. It's, it's super huge because of the fact that like, I like to see like how my energy is based off if I'm sleeping. If I'm productive one day, I'll look at my sleep and be like, okay, cool. And if I'm not, I'll look at my sleep and see if there's a correlation. So it's a really cool technique to do and that's why I think sleep tracking is very important. But again, you have to kind of use a hack. The Apple Watch really only lasts for about, I think now the battery's around two days for me. What I do is at the end of the night when I come home from work, I'll actually take my Apple Watch, plop it on the charger, go for maybe two or three hours right before I go to bed, I put it on, start the app, and then I'll go to sleep, and then the next morning I'll wake up and have the track in there, and my battery would have only lost maybe like three to five percent. So that's kind of like a little bit of a hack if you want to have like full sleep tracking and then you can just get up and go. You don't have to just charge your Apple Watch in the morning before you leave. I mean, that's also an option too, but that's kind of like 
my only qualm with that. Other than that, the things I love about it, if you are a big Nike Run Club fan, they have a, a really great app with the actual Apple Watch Sport, the Nike band, that's the one I have. It's actually really cool. I don't use it, I don't run that much. I, I, I like to just play basketball and like lift a lot. But different strokes for different folks. If you like the whole aspect of running the Nike Run Club, this is definitely gonna be something that you're gonna love and enjoy. And then the last thing I really, really love, I kinda hinted on this earlier, is the heart rate. A lot of people say, was it accurate, is it not? For me, it's pretty accurate. I think what they've done, at least with the Apple Watch 3 version, is that they've made this thing super, super accurate. And what it tracks, it tracks your resting heart rate, so you know, when you're just kind of normal, it also tracks when your heart rate is going up. And it's crazy, it will even alert you. Now granted, I need to check on this, but it will alert you when your heart rate goes above 120 uh, beats per minute when you're just in a normal state. It will alert you because they're saying there's a you know a regular heart rhythm. I'm not gonna lie, over the past couple of nights, I've looked at my phone the next morning and I'll get like three or four notifications that my heart rate went up to like 120 beats per minute. And I was like, I have a nightmare or a bad dream. Should I be concerned? So I might have to like look back into that, but I think that's a really good feature for those who are trying to look at their different heart patterns. It's really cool, I really like the Apple Watch. Uh, my recommendation, if your question now is like, well Noah, should I get one? This is what I say. If they're still available, get the Apple Watch 2 because of the fact that the Apple Watch 3 only has a couple more features that are above it. Do not get the cellular version. I have it, I barely use it. Just get the regular GPS version, or really just, I think it's GPS only, I think. Just get the GPS only. No need to get the cellular. You'll never use your phone, your watch and your phone separately. You'll always have them together. Anyway, um, maybe unless you want to know. Just, if you can find the Apple Watch 2, get the Apple Watch 2. Series 1 is kind of pushing it, but if you can, try to get Series 2 or 3 GPS only. You'll be very satisfied. I do say get at least maybe two or three types of bands. I have the hype band. I call this the hype band, which is the black and red. And then I have a kind of professional band, which is my leather brown one. And then I have another active band for when I'm actually like working out or, you know, it's just good to have an extra one. But I definitely advise getting it if you're trying to stay active. I think anything that's gonna have you staying active throughout the day with the standing up rings, I think that's huge. If it's telling you to move and it's telling you that you need to exercise 30 minutes a day I think you got yourself a great fitness track put in the comment box below if you want me to do Maybe a review or you want me to talk about the Fitbit or the Garmin because I've definitely had my fill of those Let me know in the comment box below if you like this video Don't forget to subscribe and if you haven't already hit that bell button so you can stay up to date on all the videos that are coming out You already know I'll catch you later embrace the hype